guys, can you hear me? My husband said he spotted someone or something next to our car again. I know this sounds weird, but he said it looked like an alien. But they ran into the cornfields and disappeared. I'm going to call the police. Amy, don't. I don't trust the cops or the government, or anyone else for that matter. And you shouldn't trust them either. We created our neighborhood watch for this exact reason. Brandon, I understand the situation, but this needs to stop. It's also absolutely irresponsible to send Ryan out tonight. Amy, don't tell the officials anything. Otherwise, we all end up in the nut house. Are you trying to tell them we think there's little green men running around? Gray, Brandon. They are gray. The only thing we can do in our situation is to board up our windows and doors. I'll try to rest a bit. Uh, but Amy, trust me. You don't want to end up in the psych ward. I've paid a high price to break free. The only way to escape ah, was to... You've told your stupid story a thousand times. In Vietnam, we dealt with things worse than that almost every day. What does Vietnam have to do with it? Whatever. I always wear my tinfoil hat when I leave my camper van. I believe the aliens have the ability to control us through telepathic powers. I'm convinced that the hat protects me. Hey, guys. Henry's been acting strange since he came home from the forest this morning. I don't know what's going on with him. Ryan! Hey, my kitty cat's also behaving really strangely. And she hasn't come home yet. Please, look for her during your shift. I'm really lonely without her. Uh, Henry is more important right now. But if I find your cat, I'll let you know, Bob. All right. I'll reach out to the other neighbors. I'll tell them to board up all their stuff. The fact is, our government is hiding something from the people. Things like this just don't happen here in Grey Hill. It started with Roswell, and it's been increasing since the 60s. That is the way it is. Are you and your bat ready for the night shift? Ryan Baker, the king of baseball. Yeah, Brandon. I am. Don't forget to visit us later, Ryan. We'll make some coffee for you. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, Amy. I shouldn't do that now. I shouldn't do that now. Henry, tell me what you saw in the forest today. You should ask Rachel, that crazy girl. Henry, is someone in your room? Is Rachel in there? God, I hope not. She should stop bothering me. What's going on with you, Henry? Tell me. Who's there? I'm going to your room, Henry.
Stay here. Shouldn't do that now. I shouldn't do that now. Someone was in your room. They went out the window. I shouldn't do that now. this door. Shouldn't do that now.
Max. <laughs> Sounds like the neighbors are boarding up the windows. I guess I should do the same. We should all do the same. Man. I hope this is over soon. What the hell was that light? Dad, it wasn't Rachel, right? Yeah, he uh, locked the door and ran out of the roof. It's okay, he's gone now. But there was a strange light. Look! The TV! It's working now! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lunatics and conspiracy theorists claim to have seen a UFO. The minority tries to convince other people that the small green aliens are real. The government has checked into this incident and has announced that this UFO, fortunately, is just a weather balloon. This movement that you'll see in a few seconds is just a reflection on the lens of the camera. There is no reason to concern, and don't forget to be aware of the small green man in your backyard. Your Mr. Broker. That is not a weather balloon. They're lying. The government is lying and they're trying to hide it from us. Brandon was right. They're already in Grey Hill. We can't talk about it to the police. They'll just lock us up in a psych ward. Dad, we need to get out of this cursed place. I hate this neighborhood hole. Ryan, are you there? I'll go talk to Brandon. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.